So I'm sure the title probably brought you to this video and you probably want to know what's going on or why did I title it this way. So I'll just explain it. So basically the last couple months, really the last maybe two years, so this year in 22, have really sucked. It's not been really fun to record stuff. I've been in such a mental anguish, depression, and things just aren't really fun anymore. And also, it's just simply, bluntly, not financially viable to keep doing this channel full-time the way that I've been doing it. Um, it just, I'm bleeding money every month. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I want to go into, like, the full like de details and break things down month by month with 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 uh, earnings and where things go but basically um for example if all of my normal bills like car payments car insurance health insurance like if all that adds up to about five to six hundred dollars and i'm making three to four hundred on youtube a month then i'm losing 200 a month on that and that's not even factoring in food so I, I just can't just I, I just can't just not eat like I mean I can't just do that so it's been so tiring stressful I've been so depressed some days I just want to sleep all day some days I just don't even want to get out of bed some days I cry and it, it just I'm afraid I've been afraid to even make a video talking about this because anytime I do I get shit for it but literally I, I have just, I've, I'm out of options. I'm, I just, this channel is so fucking dead. And it's frustrating because every other content creator in my circle, it's worked out great for them. I'm the only fucking dumbass that just hasn't been able to get, make this work. And it's frustrating. I don't know why. There's probably so many reasons, so many deep dives and so many probably reasons why it hasn't. But the reality of the situation is it's not working out. And I don't know what else to do. Um, I've covered every major NASCAR game that's had a career mode. I've done really everything I feel like I've needed to ever really do with this channel. And I've kind of just ran out of things I feel like to play that would be engaging. I should, obviously, there's more NASCAR games. There's more other stuff. And I've, I've always gotten stuff like, oh, play other games. Like, somebody told me to play Final Fantasy. It's like, I don't play Final Fantasy. That's, that's I don't care about it. Are they, they could be phenomenal games. But even if I love the games, that's not going to do diddly shit on this channel. I've done Dang and Rampa. I've done like the One Piece game. I've done ATV off of, uh, ATV off of Fury One and uh, Test Drive Destruction. They don't bring in the views like NASCAR does. If I don't, if if I play anything else, it doesn't do anything. Well, if it's a NASCAR game, it'll do rather well. World of Outlaws Dirt Racing is a, is one of those rare exceptions. Maybe the the first Tony Stewart Dirt game in twenty twenty that might be an exception, but that doesn't last for long. But it's just it's just not really fun to do these videos anymore it sucks and especially with the nascar gaming sphere being so depressing miserable there's nothing to look forward to why would there why would i have hope why would i have anything to look forward to and it seems like most people that want me to keep doing this i think are just people that are too young and just don't understand the, the real world or just just i don't know and that's understandable. But I just can't keep doing this anymore. I, I really can't. So I've thought about it uh, for a while. And this channel is going to be like a secondary. Maybe even third. Third day. Uh, whatever word that is for that. It's not going to be my main focus anymore. I just I did it. And basically for all the people out there that probably have been... You know, struck in their campfires for, for years, waiting for me to say this. But yes, I will find a fucking job. Hope you feel good about yourselves. I didn't want to do it because I was liking what my position was with the YouTube stuff for years. From 2016 to 2021, it was awesome. And I and I overall had a, a good time, but it, it ultimately didn't work out. And it sucks. Part of me sucks to even admit that it failed. And it's hard to come to grips with that. Um, so many nights I've 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 just stressed thinking about it, what to do. I'm I'm just tired of it. I'm fucking tired of it. I just that's all I think about, and it's depressing. The times where I do feel happy, it just feels fake. It doesn't feel like it's genuine, and 
the state of NASCAR as well. Some weeks I like it. Some weeks um, I I really just have to force myself to make a review. Um, obviously the Atlanta that that's and it's just really the biggest thing is that this isn't fun. Not that it does. If that's not fun, it's just it's just it just doesn't pay the bills. It just, it just straight up doesn't pay the bills, and that's that's the the, the number one reason. Um, by September maybe I'll be out of money, and then what else do I do? Make a video begging? I've done that before. It, it, it I I just can't keep doing this, and I can't keep asking my fans like this. That's not their that's not their job. It's not their job to be doing that. And for what, one reason or another, for a reason I still don't know, and I don't know if I'll ever really know unless someone does like a like a deep dive analytical video of why this channel's dead. I don't know. It, I just, it's just, it, it's just not working out. And that's like really the thing. It's just, I can't keep doing this. I have to find something. The only other thing I worried about is my back. That's been the biggest fucking problem for years now. I, I can't even stress how much I put my heart and soul into this fucking channel. And it amounted ultimately to nothing at the end of the day. It may have worked well for five years, but after that, it hasn't. And what do I have for it? I destroyed my body to make these videos. My back is destroyed. I It's hard to stand. I've done different things in my life. I've tried stretching. I've tried walking. It doesn't quite fix it. I've been trying to do different things. Uh, the last week or so, I've been lifting weights. I'm trying to do different. Like, ju I'm just trying to just do a little more exercising, and maybe the arm stuff that that might have that, that might help. The walking stuff it, it might help, but it's not going to make it go away. I th I think I just at this point I need some kind of physical therapy to get that to function because like I can't even think of a job where I can work that I I can even like if it's something that involves standing, I can't physically do it. I worked at Roadhouse for one month back in 21 and early 2022 and it I, I couldn't do it. My The pain was so severe. It went down my leg. I couldn't work. I couldn't even be efficient. I literally f had to like half-ass the job and I, don't, and I felt bad even doing that because I never was ever braced to just half-ass something when I'd work. So I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what to do. I, and to be honest, I'm fucking scared. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely terrified to even think of where I want to go. If it wasn't the back issue, I would assure you, I would find something like a year and a half ago, just about. I really fucking would. But that's the only thing that's been holding me back, and I'm afraid. I'm just scared. Part of me is also scared, too. It's like, where, where can I go? I don't have any life experience. It's sad, but it's the truth. I'm not going to sit here and, like, sure, Cody, and I'm not, not going to sit here and think things are awesome, because it's not. And honestly, it really feels like I just wasted all my time doing all this. It really does. I'm trying as hard as I can to, like, keep it together. I don't even feel like looking in the camera. Because it's, it's, it's embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing. My life feels so embarrassing. And there will come a point in this channel that there may not be videos for, like, weeks. But if there, if there ever is a time like that, you'll know where I'm at, why. I've always been kind of a private person. I don't usually like to just pour my heart out. But from time to time, I do. So people understand. Because I don't want to be that type of person to bullshit you and, and pretend things are fine. I guess I'm more of a realist. I don't know. I don't know the whole nuances and philosophical explanation for it. But that's just the reality of the situation and it sucks. And really, if anything I've learned from this is that I should have never have done YouTube. Should have never even bothered. Should have kept doing what I was doing. I was eventually getting fed up at House. I probably could have eventually found something else. But I should never, never have quit. And it sucks. But, you know, and I, I, I just, I don't know. I, I just, I just feel terrible. Um, and I'm tired of stressing about it. I'm tired of worrying about it. Um, there's a couple of things left to do on this channel. Uh, NASCAR 9 will be finishing up next week. NASCAR Rivals might be done the first week of August. Might be sooner. It depends. It's hard to say. Those take a long time to do because I'm doing two races, and that's like a, a combination of hour and a half to record. So I I don't know. It could be a little bit sooner than August, like first week of August. It may not be. 2013 might continue for a while. Um, that new NASCAR arcade rush. I'm not gonna freaking put my my eggs in the basket of that and hope that maybe that saves the channel because it's it's not. 
we don't know when that's going to release. And I can't sit here and think like, oh, I really hope it comes out this month because if not, I'm going to be out of money and I'm going to have to start like prostituting myself. Okay, that's being a bit hyperbolic, but I'm trying to make jokes. It's hard to make jokes in a situation like this when it's everything fucking sucks. And really at this point, I just feel like a burden on the community. I just feel like a fucking nuisance. And that's one of the other pills to swallow is just I don't really feel like I'm all that liked among the circles of people. Um, I just feel kind of like an outcast. And I don't know really why. Maybe there is a reason, but I just feel like... Except for Mertz. Mertz is maybe like the only one in the circle. I'm just... I don't want to name names, man. Because, like, Ed Soundhead, Drive Through, they've always been really good, good to me and everything. Um, I guess just other bigger circles. It just, it just feels like no one gives a shit about me. Like, I literally feel like I could disappear and no one would care. Um, I, like... And it's frustrating when everyone else is doing fine. And is it is it jealousy? Yeah. Yeah, when everybody else is doing fine around you and you're not, yeah, of course I'm going to be fucking jealous to, to some capacity. But they're clearly doing something right, apparently. I, I, I don't know what, but they're clearly doing something right. And I just, I, I don't know if I just don't have the personality for it. I really don't know. I don't know. I wish I had the answers, but is it, is it my personality? Is it my videos? I do I curse too much? That might be one of the biggest things. I don't like. I don't know anymore. I'm tired of thinking about it. It's not working, and I really, I just want to be out of this spotlight. I just want to just, just conform to the freaking to the world, and just, just, just have a typical, consistent, stable job. What that will be, what it will be, I don't know. But. Something that pays consistently, because this YouTube shit doesn't pay consistently. When I was making, like, decent money, like, it was never really a problem. If it was, like, $102, 102 to $100, $100, $200 off from what I usually would, it wouldn't be a big deal. But now, I'm stressing out. And by September, I, 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 I've already said that point. I don't know, but if this channel will come to a point where it's just going to end, maybe after that I'll just kind of fade into obscurity. Because half the time my love for the NASCAR is kind of dwindling. The other half I kind of care. The other than most of them. I'm reiterating the same points. Basically, if this is a ramble, it's hard to... I've been putting this off for months to make this fucking video. But, um, at some point, once NASCAR rivals, um, 09's done. Um, 2013 will continue, but... That might be like a literally like a once a week thing, but I don't know how consistent that will be if I'm, you know, working somewhere. So I don't know, and it might be full. It might have to be full time because part time I don't think it's gonna do it. And even part time with YouTube stuff, I don't think that's gonna cut it either. So it's gonna have to be something full time to some extent. And I don't know what. So I don't know. Uh, this channel might be just dead. Uh, another one of those old school NASCAR channels that's been around for a long time. Cause I was, I was around long before when I was doing stuff full time in 2016. I was around for six, seven years before then really. But yeah, it's another one that's just, that's just gone. And you know, I don't really think anyone's going to miss me. It feels like, um, I appreciate people sticking around as long as they have, but, um, I basically have a checklist here. Like the last couple of things I want to do. Obviously, finish NASCAR and I career mode. Uh, do the Thunder 03 lightning challenge because I did all those. Uh, uh, do the Rivals uh, uh, NASCAR Rival challenges and also finish the Rivals career mode. So I have basically four things here on my checklist here that I want to finish off before I'm done with this channel. Um, finish 2013 career mode is another one, but that will take I don't know how long and I don't know when that will be done. But. Um, that's really, really, basically it, so. Um, but basically, the end. it'll basically be an end of an era with the, with this channel, with stuff. I, I think I said that in 2021. Um, people don't believe me, that's fine. Because I, I said this once before years ago, and it technically didn't go through all the way. But hey, 
when there's no videos for like a week or two, you'll know something's up. At least I've like fully moved on. And if you don't hear from me, then I'm probably just melding, merging myself back into to the to the real world and I guess moving on. And I would like to be happy about it, but I'm I'm kinda not because I don't know how, I don't know what, what job I can find. I feel like I suck at everything else but the YouTube stuff. I feel like, I feel like that's like the only calling I feel like I've had in life where it mattered it to some extent. And it, it clearly isn't. So I'm just left here in just this void of like, what, like, what can I do? And it just sucks. I don't know. Um, if I get bullshit comments about people shitting on me for all this, I'm just removing it. I'm just saying it right now. I'm not in the fucking mood. I'm just, I'm just not. That's, that's all I have to say on the matter. I just, that's, that's just what's going on with it. And I, I just can't keep doing this anymore. I don't want to drag this on for too long because it's already probably over 10 minutes, but there's just a, just a lot in the mind. Just really want to get this out so people know what's going on. I don't think I made a video like this in months, really. I, maybe it's been a year. I, I really don't know when the last video I made was like talk about the channel and stuff. It feels like it's been a while, but I can't keep going like this. I really fucking can't. So I have to find something. I just don't know what, when, where, why. And the back thing, I I don't know. I've gotten scans. It's it's apparently some kind of muscle issue. So I I know it's that much. So I I maybe I might need to go to physical therapy just to to get that fixed i don't know i don't know that's a whole thing i don't know how to go about it i'm scared i'm anxious i don't know but that's where i'll be if i'm not if you don't see a video for like a week or two and i'm not posting anything then clearly you know yeah so i don't know obviously there's the other channel too the pony glyph seeker where i do like the rob analysis stuff that's the shirt i'm wearing I mean that's been a, that's been nice with the channel getting you know hundreds of subscribers and everything, but I can't have that be the main income source. Like it'll be cool if it gets monetized and I make money, but I can't have that be the only source of income. It has to be some other place that's more consistent because I can't I can't keep doing this. So after Pocono, I'll have to figure it out and just and just see where I where my options lay or where I can go. If I run out of money and I, I literally can't, I mean, I know, I mean, I've had talks with my parents about, like, I know they'll support me with, they can give me help, which I don't want to fucking do. I really don't, but I don't know. Um, I'm just done. I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's just, it was hard enough to even make a video like this, so that's all. That's all. So in the coming weeks, this, this, this will be all over, so that's all I have to say. Just, just take care and. I'll see you later.